Welcome, Seafood Disciples. We are here. We finally did it. You can consider this video your victory celebration. We are officially here on the grand finale of these videos. These videos have been pretty fun to make, beating these bosses and then breaking it down after. Beating it at age 20 was not easy, but it was a lot of fun getting the challenges to get better. Now we're going into the final boss. And if you're already here, you know the fundamentals, but I do want to remind people, we have a combat guide for you to look at to understand the general key components on how to actually fight against these bosses. And that combat guide talks about blocking, parrying, dodging, and then avoiding strikes. Those are three different, four different mechanics that you need to use within these battles. With that out of the way, we're going to talk about Mr. Ying, AKA the man who deserves it. What does he deserve? It's your choice at the end of the game. We'll see. But without further ado, let's talk about the actual battle against this boss. So this man is pretty much a lot of fun. He uses his bare hands and he has some amazing combinations and he's actually a really good fighter. I would like his fighting style in real life. So he throws a four hit combo and then he'll he can be attacked with that combo. So you want to wait until he's vulnerable, avoiding the strikes by moving the left stick left or right while holding block so that you can evade them. So four strikes and then he's going to be vulnerable. That's going to allow you to put in some damage. Sounds pretty easy, but there are a couple of twists. He likes to dodge back away from you. Then he'll come sliding in with a sweep kick. That sweep kick is a low kick. You're going to have to make sure you jump away from it, because if not, you will get smashed down to the floor and you're going to have to reset. And it's going to be a tough fight for you. These are the core principles and the core elements on what and how to beat this boss. He's very, very slick with his abilities. Now, when he gets into the second phase, this is when you really have to pay attention because he starts off hitting you with high strikes and he'll end with a low strike. But he does have about three different combinations that he puts together. Okay, one combination ends with a low kick, another one ends with a high kick. Both are similar with the end being very different. And you have to pay close attention on how that works. The first combination starts off with a front kick and then he throws two punches and then he'll end with a sweeping kick. OK, for me, I prefer to avoid all high body attacks and then block the lower body if I can. But being able to avoid the lower body hits are the best because then you can actually catch him when he's vulnerable and do some heavy duty damage on him. Now, the other breakdown and to understand is the same concept for his second combo where he throws a high kick to end his fight. You just want to avoid that and then put in the fight. I know this sounds very similar to the first one, but there is a little bit of a difference when he starts off the combination with the low strike. Got to be careful. So on top of those, he randomly throws a one two punch every once in a while to try to hurt you. And these are some really massive blows where they can push you back. They can break your guard. You're going to have to evade those. You cannot actually just block because those will do serious damage. Other than that, he's pretty straightforward. Continue to put out as much damage as you can. Use your focus. But like I said, learning these patterns are the most critical part. Understanding which type of attacks is pretty basic. There's the high attacks and then there's the low attacks. Low attacks are the hardest ones for most people. You just want to practice that 
and just understand when they do happen. So it's pretty simple stuff when it comes to this boss. And he's actually was a fun boss to battle. Very, very interesting. I'm really loving Sifu and I believe that uh, can get game of the year, at least for me. So far, it is the best out there. Now, with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed it. We are going to continue making some guides and breaking things down. Feel free to drop your comments and thoughts on what you think is best for each uh, area, for the bosses, and any comments you have about the game that you want to discuss. I'm sure that there'll be a big fan base who follows this game consistently just because after you beat such a difficult game, you have to be just as excited as me to share that with the world. So without further ado, Appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed everything that we are offering here and I hope you come back for more. So leave a like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.